The Hebrews, the key is keep going. Keep going, you'll go through, you'll get through it in the Lord. Now here's another scripture you wouldn't expect it. Job 37, 21 says, says, and now men do not see the light which is bright in the skies, but the wind has passed and cleared them. Okay, I'm not talking at all about the context here. I'm talking about simply the word. The wind has passed, the word is of our. What does that mean? Root word of Hebrew. A Hebrew is one who moves as the wind moves. What does that mean? Well, we spoke about it last week. Last week was what? Pentecost, Shavuot. And what I speak about, in Hebrew, the word for wind is the word for the Spirit of God. Same thing. So the Hebrew, spiritual Hebrew, is one who moves with the wind, moves with the Spirit, to lives with the Spirit. Who, who, who does all by the Spirit. They're passing. You see, you notice the, the word Hebrew has the verb, so they're always in some way moving forward with God. But the only way you move is you move by the Spirit of God. And here's another one. In, in, the, in, the, in the Bible, and this is also in Job, I'm not even going to say the verse, the word avar is used to pass away. Pass away. That means to cease, to get they're gone, pass away. Well, what does that have to do with us? Well, the Bible says, what did Paul say? Paul said, if we're in Messiah, our life, our old life is over. It's gone. It's, done. it's dead. It's finished. But now I live in a different life. So it says, if anyone is in Messiah, Christ, he or she is a new creation. The old has what? Passed away, avar. But the new has come. So uh, sp the power of being a spiritual Hebrew is you've got the power to put away the old you. The old you. Notice, notice in the Bible, notice what happens to people. Abram becomes Abraham. Sarai becomes Sarah. Jacob becomes Israel. All that goes on and on and on and on. And the thing is this, you know, we have the power to become new, but the power to become new is based on the power to cease with the old. I don't have to be that person anymore. I, imagine if your life was over right now. It's over. But you get a chance to have a second life. Well, that's what it is to be born again. You know, sometimes the problem is we still, we still think we're alive. We still think that old, old life is still alive. It's, a, it's not a continuation. That's gone. Imagine it was all gone and you suddenly get a second chance. You're beamed back on earth and now you're going to do everything. You, can, you have the chance to bless people and love people and, and, and do what you always wanted to do. You knew you should have done. You got a chance. That's your life now. It says in the Lord, it says your, old, your life is gone. You have died. Your life is now with the Lord. You're, you're living about. You, now I have a new life, but you have the power to cease with the old. I'm free. It's a freedom. I'm free from all that stuff. I'm new in God. You know, you know this song of Solomon. Of course you do. But you know that, that beautiful passage, and you know it, where it says, Arise, my beloved. The Lord, it's really the Lord's voice. Arise, my love. Come away with me. The spring has passed. The winter is gone. The rain is gone. The word is of our. Hebrew, it's gone. The past, it's gone. Though, and so what it's saying is all that, I don't have to live in that anymore because the Bible says it's past. I'm gonna, I have the power to say all that junk is past. I am not, all that, that messed up person, that's past. I am not that anymore. Those who are born again, the, the Bible says I am new. That's what the Bible says. I either believe it or I don't. If I don't believe it, I'm not gonna live it. If I believe it, I will live it. It is finished. And to, to take things like that. You know, in Hebrew, the word for the, I, some of you know this, but a, a, a strange mystery about the language is that when it speaks about perfect things, it, it's, it uses the past tense. When it uses the past tense, it means it's finished, it's complete. See, too often we're living in the imperfect. We're always trying to, trying to make up for, trying to, I'm trying to be loved by God. I'm trying to, but the, he, the secret in the Hebrew is what's perfect is past. So therefore, when Jesus was on the cross and he said, it is finished, the power is, it is a finished work and I'm to live in a finished work. I am not trying to be victorious. I am victorious, but in that I will be victorious because I already accepted it's done by him, not me. Whatever that is, I'm not trying to perfect myself. In him, there is a perfect work, but I'm going to live it out. It's already done. It's finished. Lord, thank you. It's done. In Proverbs 19, verse 11, let me show you another thing you'd never see in English. 
It says it's a man's discretion. A man's discretion makes him slow to anger. And in his, it's his glory to forgive or overlook a transgression. Okay, now we know we're supposed to forgive. But you know what the word is to meaning forgive here or overlook it? The word is avar from Hebrew. What does that mean? The person, the one who's a spiritual Hebrew is one who has the power, even if it was hard for them before, has the power to forgive everything. Absolute foundation, no option. The Lord doesn't say you've got an option on this. It says if you don't forgive, you're not going to be forgiven. And I said, well, that's works. I don't care what it is. The Bible says it. If you don't forgive, you're not forgiven. You have to forgive. And the Bible, the, 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 but to, to forgive, the, the, the secret in Hebrew, it's the same word avar here. So to forgive, it means when you forgive, you're going to pass through something. You may be, something if you don't forgive, you're going to be blocked up, blocked up. But if you forgive and let go and bless, you're going to pass through it. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey 07644, USA. Hope of the World is dedicated to the goal of spreading God's Word and salvation to every land and people. We do this by spreading the Word throughout the world and sponsoring compassion projects to the most poor and needy around the earth. To get in touch or have a part in God's work, just write to Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA. Or go to hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821.